The world's best surfers descended on Hawaii's Sunset Beach this week for the latest edition of the World Cup of Surfing. With 128 surfers beginning the competition at the first round stage, it wasn't long before the Pacific Ocean was claiming its first victims. Dane Reynolds of the USA and Australia's Stu Kennedy were among the early casualties on day one, with local surfer Pancho Sullivan the day's high scorer with 15.5 points. Sullivan has five wins on his home break at Sunset Beach, but so far the Vans World Cup trophy has proven beyond his grasp. Nathan Hedge, on the comeback trail after two years out from the tour, started well and says that Sunset Beach offers one of the most challenging breaks on the world tour. I really love Sunset Beach. It's, it's always the last event on the schedule, so there's a lot of high drama and, and you know, emotions and, and ratings points at stake. So it always you know, creates for a, an epic in, environment and you know, it's, it's such a challenging way. There's like the big football fields out there of, of, of area where you've got to try and pick up the right wave and then you know, it's kind of like you see a set coming so you kind of want to go out to get it but then you've got to be in to catch it. So you kind of got to have the courage to stay in and be on the shelf. So it's, it's pretty challenging. The tour event is set to run until the 6th of December.